All right, so I did another video about anxiety a while ago, and I'll reshare that one so you guys can see it. This video is just about panic attacks. I have a panic disorder, which means my whole life and my whole day kind of revolves around either me having a panic attack or me trying not to have one. So let's get into how a panic attack actually feels. When you go to the emergency room for a panic attack, they check out your heart. Because most panic attacks actually feel like everything you've ever heard about a heart attack. You know, they might check your blood. They give you an x-ray, an EKG. They want to make sure you're not actually having a heart attack. Because all of the symptoms seem the same. You got numbness and pain in your arm. Your limbs are tingling. Your chest is tight. You got shortness of breath. Your fingertips are tingling. You have excruciating pain in your chest. You might get some acid reflux type of feeling. Uh, I get a lot of migraines with mine as well. And when you go to the emergency room, that's what they want to do. They want to make sure you're not actually having a heart attack. I've been to the emergency room countless times. I've even called 911 multiple times in the same day, multiple times in the same week. And those paramedics come into my house so often, trust me, those bills add up. I just wound up taking my own vitals now because usually when they come to the house and I take my anxiety medicine, I got in the moment medicine and I got daily medicine. Usually by the time the paramedics take my vitals, I'm already calming down. So now I just make sure my own blood pressure, my blood sugar, I check my temperature. You know, I just make sure I'm all right. And plus just the visual effect of seeing your vitals being stable kind of helps calm you down. You can even squeeze some Play-Doh to help bring the blood back to your limbs when they get numb and tingly. Now, I've had brain scans. I've had overnight sleep studies because I was having panic attacks in my sleep. The important thing that people should know is how to tell the difference between anxiety attacks and panic attacks and how to distinguish an emergency from a non-emergency, which means how to distinguish the difference between a panic attack and an actual real heart attack. Which is difficult because you're already convinced that you are dying. Your brain already thinks that you are having a heart attack. You might have cold sweats. You might be shaking. You might be trembling. You might feel like you're too hot. You might be lightheaded. It's hard to remember that all you have to do is breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth in order to slow your heart rate down. People that go through panic attacks go through a very physical and emotional ordeal. And it can be very, very intense. It can be very painful. 